The Necronomicon is not a new concept, and it's not only in the Evil Dead universe. References to the book are actually from the writer H.P. Lovecraft. The first time he wrote of it or even mentioned it was in a short story called The Hound in 1924. From that point on, the Necronomicon began to make many appearances. Through every literary work, the legend of the Necronomicon began to grow. But today we're going to talk about the Necronomicon Ex Mortis, aka the Book of the Dead from the Evil Dead universe. Now, much like the St. Elsewhere paradox, where it states that all of NBC's lineup since St. Elsewhere began its run are all part of an artistic child by the name of Tommy Westfeld's imagination. So does the Evil Dead universe cross over to many other franchises. In some cases, it's the deciding factor in those franchises. These are five times the Evil Dead Necronomicon made an appearance on film. Number five, Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, Season six, Episode six. When the Egyptian queen Nefertiti's son Ramsey tries to harness the power of the Necronomicon to restore the perceived lost power of Egypt, Hercules is forced to cast the book into the heavens in order to save Egypt. Now I know the book doesn't have the famous face uh, on it but since the history is very similar and also Sam Raimi was one of the producers on the show, I give it a pass. Number 4 evil tunes. A cleaning company hires four women to clean an old house. While cleaning they find a book, the Necronomicon. In typical horror movie fashion, the protagonists decide to read from the book and all hell is let loose. Number 3. Pumpkinhead 2 Bloodwing. In the 1950s, a group of teens kill and torture a disfigured orphan. 35 years later, another group of teens decide to rob an old witch who had the Necronomicon in her possession. Why did they rob her, you ask? Because it's a horror movie. In any case, using blood in a spell taken from an old witch, they resurrect the orphan as Pumpkinhead, a demon of vengeance. All right, before we get back to the video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. It's, in theory, it's supposed to let you know when I make another video. And without further ado, back to the video. Number two, Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. Now we all know the story about Jason Voorhees and Friday the 13th, but everyone was shocked when the Necronomicon made an appearance in Jason Goes to Hell. This made fans rethink if the Necronomicon had something to do with the immortality of Jason after the final chapter. Maybe Jason is just a deadite. And number one, Creep Show, Season 2, Episode 2, Public Television of the Dead. During our appraisal of the Necronomicon on a PBS show, the station is overwhelmed by dark forces infused in the book. The story is funny and I enjoyed it, and it has a lot of that Evil Dead humor that I love. By the way, shout out to Ted Ramey who makes an appearance in it. My man, Joxer the Mighty. All right, well, thanks for listening. I'm happy that you guys went this far. If you did like this video, please hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments. Uh, let me know if you like this type of uh, content or anything like that. This is Main Rocket blasting off.